All right, guys, I want to make a quick video on how to properly install a vise on your bench. All right, the first thing you got to do when you get your vise is you got to find out where you want it. Uh, some people like it in the middle of the bench somewhere. I personally like it in the corner. Uh, especially if you have a swivel vise, because you're gonna to need to one day turn this thing and make sure and have your workpiece go this way rather than parallel with, the, with your workbench. Uh, or you'll find that you'll have to move this in a way where you need a corner to work uh, whatever piece you're working on. Another thing as far as positioning your, uh, your vise here, you want it as closest to the edge as possible. And the reason for that is this back jaw right here. This back jaw has to be in front of your workbench. You know, I mean, theoretically, yes, you could put it even with your work workbench, but you want it, you want this jaw out farther than your workbench because it'd be kind of dumb to put it like this and then whatever you're working on is gonna hit the table. Uh, but of course, it all depends on what you need. So I personally like it in the corner of, your, of the workbench whenever possible and as close as you can get it to the edge on both sides here and equal. So if I have to spin this thing 90 degrees, it's gonna be exact same thing on this side. All right, so let's get started. All right, the next thing we need to do is mark the holes on where you want the, your, your vise to be on the bench. So, you can measure it or eyeball it. Eyeballing's good. But you want it equal. And then get a pencil and mark where your holes are at. Some vices come with a template, I've noticed. Uh, this one didn't. You really, you really don't need one. Okay, I measured the holes here and they're just over a half inch. I don't know if it's metric or what, but uh, it's like 510 thousandths is the whole size. So I got a half inch bolt and they're usually a tad under anyways. So, get yourself a half inch drill. And this for me anyways, in my case, I'm used to using a spade drill here. Quick look here. Alrighty. and get right where your mark is at. And when you're drilling like this, especially plywood, um, when you start getting near the end, don't push real hard because you end up splintering it. Now we'll get our bolts. All right, I went to the big box store and I got me some bolts, nuts, washers, and lock washers. Half inch, uh, half inch 13 to be exact, thread size, 13 threads per inch. All right, I got here some half inch 13 nuts. I have 13 bolts and they're two and a half inches long in, in my case. Let's see, we got four lock washers, half inch lock washers, and uh, four bigger washers. The bigger ones I'm going to put on the bottom um, to hold, you know, hold everything together nice. And for the top, I found these washers here. But uh, I'm not sure. They might not fit. I might have to put a little flat on here because of the uh, the way the vice is here. 
not enough room so I'm gonna have to do that okay the uh, washer here and where the hole is the washer is a little bit big and it's hitting right here right in the corner there so I'm just gonna have to put a little flat spot on here so it'll go all the way over so I can put my um, bolt through there all right what I did was I got my washer and I put a little flat in it you can see it right there a little flat spot so it'll go on there and it'll still be able to go through the hole in other words I essentially just made a little extra room for it and the washers were a little bit too big around but that's okay so now we're gonna mount it all right now we're gonna start mounting this uh, vise so I've got my holes drilled Put it right over the holes. Get my washers that I customized. Put that in there. Another washer. Now we got washers for the bottom and lock washers that we're going to put in, and of course the nut. All right. And last one. And this one's underneath in the back here. See if I can do this blind. All right, now we're going to tighten them down. Remember when you're tightening these down, you want them good and snug, but remember you're pushing up against wood here. This isn't steel. That would be nice if it was. For what I do, this vise is more than enough that I'll, you know, more than adequate in this tabletop. If you want something stronger, uh, I mean, you could, I could have put two by sixes or two by twelves on here, um, made it even stronger. But this is all I need. Snug, good and snug, and that's good and snug. Beautiful. And now, now if I want to move this to this side. And tighten this down. 
and work on something this way. I can still do it. And if I need to, see, let me lock these down first. And this here is a nice feature. I can swivel this where I want it, work on pipes and things, and, and all kinds of nice stuff. All right. So, hope you learned something about putting a vise on. I prefer it in the corner. You can put it wherever you want on the on the bench. But like I said, you're going to come across jobs where you're you got something down on here tight and you got to swivel this thing around and you need the room and this way you got a little room here in the corner. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Please like and, and subscribe and thank you. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs>